Picture this, while your kid sits in a cramped classroom, memorizing outdated facts from a textbook written in 2003, somewhere across town, another child just finished their entire academic day in two hours. They're now building a sailboat, learning to code with an AI tutor, or working on a real business problem. Which kid do you think will thrive in 2030? If you think I'm talking about some distant future, think again. This revolution is happening right now. And most parents have no idea their kids are being left behind by a system designed for the 1900s. What I'm about to show you will fundamentally change how you think about your child's education. We're not talking about adding iPads to classrooms or getting ChatGPT to write essays. We're talking about the complete dismantling of an industrial education model that has been crushing dreams for over a century. This isn't speculation. I'm going to show you exactly what's happening at schools like Primer Micro School in Arizona and Florida, where my own daughter is learning and why traditional education is about to become as obsolete as the horse and buggy. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than firsthand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage. Join our online school and access over 40 on-demand AI training courses, new ones added every week at firstmovers.ai slash labs. Here's the problem with traditional education. Let me be brutally honest, traditional schools were designed to create compliant factory workers, not innovative thinkers. Here's what your kid's education really looks like. Six to eight hours of sitting in uncomfortable chairs, learning information they could Google in 30 seconds, memorizing facts for tests they'll forget a week later, following rigid schedules that ignore how humans actually learn, being punished for creativity and curiosity. The dirty secret educators won't tell you. Most teachers spend five to 20 hours per week on administrative tasks, lesson plans, progress reports, grading busy work. That's time stolen from actual teaching. Meanwhile, kids are learning to hate learning. They're taught that there's one right answer, one way to solve problems, one path to success. We're literally programming them to fail in an AI world that rewards adaptability, creativity, and continuous learning. But here's where it gets exciting. AI isn't just changing education. It's completely revolutionizing it. And I'm not talking about some distant future. This is happening now. What AI-powered education actually looks like. Personal AI tutors for every student. Imagine your child having a world-class tutor available 24-7. Listen to Sal Khan, creator of Khan Kids Academy, talking about this. Tell us what exactly AI will do to change the experience for teachers and students in the classroom. So uh, there's always been a dream, science fiction authors have been writing about it for decades, that AI could be something of a tutor for every student, but maybe just as powerful, it can also be a teaching assistant for every teacher. Most teachers spend someplace between five and 20 hours a week doing things like writing lesson plans, grading papers, writing progress reports. Uh, AI can do those things, uh, especially the frontier models, the ones that are the most computationally intensive. And so what we're really excited about, we've been working on these tools for over a year now, uh, well before even ChatGPT existed, we were working on this with OpenAI, but this partnership with Microsoft allows us to give these tools, which actually can cost a lot in terms of computation, but give it for free to teachers. So now all you as teachers are going to have access to tools that uh, in any other industry, you would have to spend a lot of money on. We're 10 or 15 years into the national experiment of having basically laptops in schools. And I think there's a lot of real questions about whether that's helped student progress or hindered it. Can you make the case that you think adding AI on top of that will be resulting in better outcomes for students going forward? 
Yeah, I think the important thing is to not put technology in front of the use case. The reality over the last 15 years is there are cases where technology and, you know, we have 50 plus efficacy studies and we're working with school districts where they are able to pretty dramatically accelerate some of their outcomes because of technology. But then there's many other cases where people bought the iPads, they bought the the laptops and they're just sitting there collecting dust and uh, really they haven't seen things move. So it's very important to think about how you're going to use it and then think about the tools. And the tool might be a pencil or it might be artificial intelligence. Another problem that we've had historically is we'd go to teachers and say, hey, if only you learned this one extra thing, it might improve your outcomes, but then they're already spread thin. What's exciting about AI, especially with these teacher tools we're now able to give is, yes, it is one more thing for a teacher to learn, but we can immediately show them productivity improvements, time savings. We're working with school districts that are already saying it's saving their teachers five to 10 hours a week. So it, almost in the, the, the journey of technology, it's the first time that we're able to tell teachers, this is going to, this is going to be less things for you to do. Uh, there's a little bit of a learning curve, but it's going to save you time, not, not add to your workload. Interesting. And here's also what Luis Van An, the CEO of Duolingo, told us when he was on last week talking about how he thinks AI will make machine, learn, uh, machine learning more comfortable, perhaps more uh, useful for people. Here's what he had to say. The thing that they really allow us to do is teach conversation better. I mean, there's many aspects of learning a language. You have to learn vocabulary, you have to learn how to read, how to listen, et cetera. But conversation is something we were never able to really teach you with a computer. Uh, but now that's something that we can teach you. Sal, it sounds to me like you're describing a lot of the AI implementation in the classroom as being the kind of off the classroom experience things that could make teachers' lives easier, like lessons plans. But do you also think AI will be used in the classroom setting itself, perhaps in the way he described? Oh, definitely. I and mean, to be clear, we already have on the other on the order of 100,000 students by but next back to school is going to be approaching a million students and teachers in real classrooms in the United States, using it during their uh, classroom for the students to get tutoring support, uh, teachers getting reports from the AI, having conversations with the AI, uh, students being able to talk to AI simulations of literary characters or historic characters, AI being able to be the writing coach for the student, but also be able to support the teacher so it can undermine cheating, uh, however the student might want to do that type of cheating. So there's going to be a ton of use cases. There was, you know, during the GPT-4 Omni uh, launch last week with OpenAI, there's a demo with me and my son that's gone, I, I think, kind of viral, <laughs> where he's talking to the AI and it's it's you can see what he's writing and it, it really is acting like a tutor for him. So uh, I completely agree with Lewis. You're going you're to see a lot more of, of that type of thing happening. This tutor knows exactly how your kid learns best. It never gets frustrated, never judges, and adapts instantly to their pace. Benjamin Bloom's research showed personal tutoring can move average students to the 98th percentile. AI makes this possible for everyone. Teachers become learning facilitators. Instead of spending hours on lesson plans, AI handles the administrative work. Teachers can focus on what humans do best, inspiring, mentoring, and creative problem solving. Sal Khan from Khan Academy reports teachers are saving 5-10 hours per week with AI tools, real-world learning. Kids aren't memorizing facts. They're solving actual problems. They're building businesses, creating art, conducting research. Learning becomes project-based and immediately applicable. Real examples of schools. Leading the revolution. Primer micro school. Where my daughter learns. Let me tell you about my daughter's first day of sixth grade at Primer Micro School in Scottsdale. While other kids her age were being herded into overcrowded classrooms, she was working with AI to solve real problems, building and creating with her hands, pursuing her actual interests and passions, learning at her own pace without being held back or left behind. This isn't some expensive private school fantasy. This is a micro school, and they're popping up everywhere. Alpha school model. Academics crushed in two hours using AI-powered learning. Rest of the day, farms, sailboats, workshops, real-world skills, kids learning to think, not just regurgitate. The results are staggering. Kids completing traditional curriculum in half the time. Higher engagement and enthusiasm for learning. Development of actual life skills. Preparation for jobs that don't even exist yet. Here's what AI education really means. Adaptive learning paths. Every child learns differently. 
Some are visual learners, others need hands-on experience. AI creates personalized learning paths that adapt in real time. No more one-size-fits-all education. Immediate feedback and support. Instead of waiting days for graded papers, kids get instant feedback. The AI tutor catches misconceptions immediately and guides them to understanding, like having Socrates as your personal teacher. Unlimited exploration. Want to learn about ancient Rome? Have a conversation with Julius Caesar. Studying chemistry, the AI can simulate any experiment safely. Learning about space? Take a virtual trip to Mars. Real skill development. Critical thinking over memorization, problem solving over test taking, creativity over conformity, collaboration over competition. Here's what most people don't realize. We're in the middle of the biggest education transformation in human history, and it's happening fast, thank God. The old system is crumbling. Colleges are admitting their traditional assessments don't work anymore. Employers are hiring based on skills, not degrees. Kids are getting world-class education outside traditional schools. The new system is emerging. Micro schools and learning pods exploding in popularity. AI tutors becoming more effective than human teachers for many subjects. Project-based learning replacing standardized testing. The choice is clear. Your child can either be prepared for this new world or left behind by institutions desperately clinging to an obsolete model. The window is now. Because every month your child spends in a traditional school system is a month they're not developing the skills they'll actually need. We're talking about learning how to learn with AI, developing creativity and critical thinking, building real world skills, maintaining natural curiosity instead of having it crushed. You have options. Micro schools like Primer, homeschooling with AI support, online learning platforms with personalized AI tutors, Hybrid models combining the best of all worlds. The cost of waiting. While you're deciding, other kids are getting a three-year head start on the future. They're learning to collaborate with AI, think creatively, and solve real problems. Your child deserves the same advantage. The education revolution isn't coming. It's here. And your child's future depends on whether you embrace it or ignore it. What parents can do today. Number one, research microschools and alternative education options in your area. Number two, start incorporating AI learning tools at home. Number three, focus on developing your child's curiosity and creativity. Number four, connect with other parents who are making this transition. And here's something exciting. If you're ready to go deeper into how AI is reshaping not just education, but every aspect of our lives, I want to invite you to join our AI R&D labs. This is where we're researching and testing the cutting edge AI tools that will define the next decade. We're not just watching this revolution happen, we're actively building it. From educational AI systems to business automation tools, our R&D labs give you early access to the technologies that will separate the leaders from the followers. The same AI principles transforming education are revolutionizing every industry. If you want your family to be on the winning side of this transformation, the R&D Labs is where you need to be. The factory model of education served its purpose for the industrial age, but we're not raising factory workers anymore. We're raising the innovators, creators, and problem solvers who will shape the future. Don't let your child be left behind by a system that's already obsolete. Hit subscribe if you want to stay ahead of this revolution. Check out our AI R&D labs if you're ready to actively participate in building the future. And let me know in the comments what's holding you back from making this change for your child. The future of education is here. The question is, will your child be part of it?